so in this tutorial we'll demonstrate the procedure to solve a problem related to the projection of lines when the projectors of the line lie on the single projector line so the given information is the line lies on a single projector line the front view is 100 mm long top view is 75 mm long the end point P is 25 mm behind BP and 50 mm below HP so this information about the point P has been recorded here as you see point P dash 50 mm below XY line because uh, it's a uh, it is below HP and point P so it has been also located with the, the information that it is 25 mm behind BP now about as the line is in the third quadrant in one of the quadrant only so we complete the top view the top view length is 75 mm so 1 2 and 3 so this is the top view similar way so the front view is uh, 100 mm 1 2 3 4 grid spaces we get the front view also so we label the other end of the front view q dash and other end of the top view as q now in this case to get the true length and true inclination so what we need to do so we need to hinge it at the first point first point is P and uh, we'll draw an arc with center option and uh, using control so we can draw the clockwise arc also this way so we complete the arc to get the customary point q1 q1 is the point representing the horizontal position of the top view now when the top view is horizontal the vertical from the other end of the top view so that will give us the vertical locus of capital Q dash and the horizontal locus of capital Q dash passes through small Q dash so this way which point we get we get here capital Q dash so capital Q dash we get and uh, this is the point which is in the small p dash so capital P dash also is there and this is the true length so we can say that true length is 125 mm because 1.2 high autocad units and uh, we have uh, applied the scale flag factor so we use the dtext command take the point here enter point enter and we write here the true length is equal to p dash q dash and it is equal to 125 mm so this is one information another thing is so we need angle so I use the dim command and in the dim command we invoke angle option so we have to now get uh, let us switch off the snap for time being using F9 we select the lines where we want to measure the angle so this is the angle this angle represents the angle of the line with horizontal plane 
which is 53. That means we have here the theta equal to 53. So we will use, will not need to again type a d text. We simply copy whatever earlier text is and here we can also just change. So here the angle theta which is well known that it is the angle with horizontal plane it is 53 degree this information we have now uh, the angle with the the BP we get in the top view so for that we will need to draw the arc center option at P so we again make use of snap on so center point method and the starting point is Q dash and the end point is here so this point is uh, actually the Q1 dash so this point is Q1 dash and here Corresponding to Q1 dash, when we draw the vertical line, so we get the vertical locus of capital Q, and the horizontal locus of capital Q passes through the Q. So, where the two loci coincide, we get the point capital Q and the capital P, and always coincides with small p so that is another known fact now we have the again we switch on the snap snap was already on okay line command from this point capital p to capital q we draw so you note that the length of the line length of the line p q is equal to p dash q dash it is 125 mm or 1.25 autocad units so this information is just for verification that everything is well now uh, find let us find out the angle again in the dim command in this option angular we select the angle between the line so capital PQ and this one is 37 so this is the angle of the line with the VP so what we do we simply copy and paste it here and change the information so this is phi the angle with VP is denoted as phi and this is just to be measured as 37 so this way we can write the answers so with this is one way of completing the solution for the problem when the projectors are lying when the line is lying on the single projector line so, so we say see that the procedure is uh, almost the same so we will demonstrate another procedure to solve this problem in uh, the second video that uh, will be separately uploaded. So thank you.